Good evening, everyone. And welcome to part 3 of 800 of my tutorial series on how to create professional quality animations in 3D Studio Max. I am Vice Admiral Wilson MP, and I will be representing your constituency in Parliament. I have been very ill, which is why there was no video last week. The bubonic plague is characterized by thick bubos that appear on the infected subject's skin and for its tendency to turn people into corpses. In the last tutorial we created two painfully simplistic representations of human beings in order to act out our perverse fantasies as outlined in the script. In this part, we will create a world for these abominations to coexist in. Now, I have not entered a supermarket in many years, so I have created this design completely from memory. From what I recall, there is a room full of shelves, one which contains drinks, a counter where the shopman lives, and a room where customers are not allowed. I can only presume this leads to the clever world, where the items inside the shop are cleaned occasionally. We will start by cutting out the walls. Convert to editable poly and select cut. Now start cutting. Delete the unnecessary polygons. There, now it looks neat and tidy. Create a separate edge next to the clever world. Like so. Now, select border and extrude it upwards by shift dragging. You could also cut out doors and windows, like so. Remember to extrude it inwards in order to create a window frame. This will allow for glass to be inserted later with relative ease. This will not be required for the door frame as it does not contain any glass. Extrude the clever world wall upwards by selecting it and then selecting extrude. It can be moved up and down, in case the shopman ever needs to access that part of the shop. Now, create a plane, like so. Remove all the polygons under the modifiers tab, as they are not needed. Move it to the same position as the window frame, like so. Please ensure it is the same dimensions as the window frame, or it will fall out. This will be sufficient. The shop interior is now complete. Now all we need are some items in the shop. For this we will require some shelves, a counter, a cash register, and some trinkets for the shopman to sell. A bottle of lemonade, which Mr. Smiley's fear face will purchase. Now then, the next step is to create... <coughs> the, the next step is to create... A... <coughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hello there, peeps. My name is Scruston, and I was the Admiral's assistant. Turns out the Admiral had a little accident and died from the bubonic plague, which is an easily preventable disease. Never trusted them doctors, though. 
We had the funeral, and buried the, the body. It took us, took us three, three weeks to find the spare horse to stick him in. Anyway, we did the you know, wells and all that, and the man said his last request was, was, was for me to continue his tutorial series. No, I, don't know. I think this, this is the last bit of footage we had, and this is what the, the captain made last. Uh, he, he bit, I think he's making that like, some shelves or something to stick all the things on to. So it makes like a box. You, you, you can see he's sort of segmenting it inwards and extruding it and capping them all together. Now, now he's making a lot of uh, little bits underneath for uh, some little hole underneath for. For little dog doggies to run under in case they uh, enter the shop. Uh, you just kind of stitch it in together now, give it a good old, good old stitch it together. It's taking my while, isn't it? Uh, even the uh, fast motion. Anyway, he's, um, he just kind of stitch it together now. Now then, um, to, to start with, we're going to, um, uh, we've, we've got this shelf now, so we're just going to make several of those. Uh, uh, I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to texture this so it looks nice and um, nice and colourful. So uh, the, the first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to show you this funny picture of a dog I found. Uh, which one is it? Um, uh, this one? Uh, no, no, that's a text document. Uh, I think I deleted the picture of the dog anyway. Uh, so we're gonna go to the dog fossil shop and you're gonna can start texturing it. So I'll see you in just a minute. Right now I couldn't find Photoshop. It was hidden in all these files, but we got a better program. It's called Paint.net. So I've taken a screenshot of all the um, taking a screenshot of the of the model that he, he, he was making, and uh, we're just gonna colour it in. Yeah, um, so first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need some of that towel patterns. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make some nice, lovely towel patterns. Yeah, that, 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 that. Yeah, there we go. And again, again, again. Now you can make these any colors that you want. I'm gonna make mine, um, where the colors? Now you can select any colors that you want. I'm going to choose a nice, nice sort of uh, creamy, creamy type color. So I set that using the color wheel. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And I just um, coloring these bits, not those bits, but uh, these, these bits here. Get them nice and colored and looking lovely. Uh, just um, get a Colour them in like this and this. Now I'm going to choose more of a white colour for this bit. A uh, bit, uh, bit, bit grey or so, so um, missed a bit there. Uh, you choose the eye dropper tool and um, you, you, you select. Yeah, no, it's already broken. You select these bits here. And you just kind of stick it in like that, really. Such a good program. Now for this bit, um, it's kind of, you stuck them all together like glue. So we're going to just colour that over. Don't take long, only about an hour or two. There we go, that's nice and done. So we're going to move this over here now, and that's the floor done. Got a so the next bit we're going to do is the walls now. What does the walls of a shop look at? Walls of a shop. We got this here now on your, on your Google, so we're going to, um, uh, the, the mostly white really if you look at these, so we're going to just make them sort of creamy like, you know. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, now what we're going to do is just set to the other sort of creamy white colour, make it a bit nicer, that's a good, yeah, it's like a good pink colour. And uh, we're just going to make it sort of a pink colour really. Now we can add lots of lovely effects here, so if you select it, go to effects, make it look all artistic. Yeah, like that, and then um, you can add other things all painted. Make it look really nice. It doesn't really work with solid colours. And you better noise. 
Did you can blow it a bit, you sound your army texted. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and blurred. Render, you can render clouds, we're not going to render clouds today. It's stylized, and it's just, we're not going to do that either. But that's the right thing, that'll do some more text, and some of these words around. Now there's also a window frame. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make that a nice brown. Like so. Select the brown, and um, just add more noise really, just to show this. Now you see it selects the eye of it, we don't want that, we just want to do this bit, so I select this bit here and I just add the noise to that bit, like so. There we go, that's looking lovely. <laughs> now we're going to use the, um, the other room, just clever words, so we're going to just, just select that bit there, get all the nice and swirly looking. Okay, it's selected all the noise and we don't want that, so we can remove it. Add the noise, need a bit more red looking. Add a bit more noise. There we go, that's looking pretty good, we'll just add the whole room like that really. Now what you do is you just select this, this area. And that, that's the entire texture really. Just get a server in this, this bit here. So, texture. Not JPEG, it doesn't take up much. Yeah, you can just reduce the quality. Now, you don't want it all the way, but you do want to save yourself a couple of lovely megabytes. So you can turn down, because you can turn down that far, we don't get that far, we need a bit more. So, 45 kilobytes. There we go. The next step is just to apply it to the model now. So you go to M, select the material editor, and then you select the thing. Here's the one, shop texture. Now you just apply it. Oh, it's looking good already. Now like before in the previous Admiral's tutorials, you, you, you select yourself an unwrapped UV modifier, and you go on this. So we're going to select the floors. Like so. And this bit as well. I think maybe this bit. And this bit. And um, that, that's all the bits. So you just, now, now you, you just need to, you just like, play on our map. And you just, you just stick it over the thing, so you, you click it again. And then you just you move it over to this bit here. And it creates like a nice, lovely checkered pattern. <sighs> oh, it looks good. Look at all them pixels. And we're going to do the same thing for these. Now this bit's the window frame, that's why we create a little brown bit there. Now them bits there yeah, aren't designed up as good, so you can set the vertex by going here. Moving, just moving it really into them down sort of face, and you see how these little bits become all sandy looking, that's how, that's how it's done really. And yeah, you can make it bigger to get more, more kind of detailing. If you like. But uh, the side bits here we don't need to worry about because no one's going to see them really. General rule of thumb in 3D modeling if you're not going to see something then just don't bother. Yeah, we're just going to kind of stick them all just to stay really. Give it a good rotate. And we're going to rotate it again. There we go. Yeah, it just doesn't really matter. That, that looks fine to me. Look fine to what you're watching. Now for the discovery words, we're going to, um, we just, just going to do this, really. 
Jag kan ju klicka kub med kan ju vem i kubjak. Jag har att jag var en kapp av ett kubit. Jag vill gå. Jag vill gå. Jag vill bli en dräng. Room cap thing. Now, one thing that I really like to do as well is if you get, you get, get rid of this, you know, you get, if you go into here, you can click on the, the, um, the, uh, the diffuse color, and, um, you can click on filtering. Now, by default in 3ds Max, it's set to pyramids, so it can smooth it out like this. But one thing I like to do, you click none. Now look at it, it's like a PlayStation 1 game. Ugh. Looks really good now, especially the Scrubber Room. That looks so lovely and pixie. Now, um, oh, uh, for this bit, this is the window. Now we're not going to make a texture for this. Although we kind of are, but not really. So, we make it black. But you're probably wondering, but it's costing! When does that supposed to be black? Well, these ones are, because what you do, you lower the, the opacity. Lower and lower, and it just makes it look kind of, um, can't really tell there because it's not outside, but we're gonna move, uh, gonna move this here. And you look at that, it's all, um, you can see through it. But we can see through it too much, so it's almost like it's not there. So we up the opacity of it, then we up the shininess, and then when there's a... Uh, once you see a... Uh, you, you can tell from that angle there's a bit of a window there, and that's how you do it. Right now, we're gonna move, uh, we're gonna move some of these in there. Oh, it's gonna look so lovely and pretty. Now, now then, it's, it's one here for your drinks. Uh, it's only for all the other trinkets. Now you can make your own trinkets at home. Now then, yeah, we're going to use a little shop counter thing here. So we're going to make like a little box. We're going to move them. Um, yeah, you can just kind of cut it again like this. And like this. I'm going to extrude this bit out a bit more. Oh, that's looking pretty good. You move, I'm going to need to move both these. But for this bit, this one can just kind of go inside a bit. Not like that though, you can go inside like this a bit. Oh, and then this you can move out. It's all, it's all about being nice and creative. Get look, get looking lovely. Those bits are trying to intersect, will you show up? No, not really. Again, if it didn't show up, it just, just doesn't really matter that much. Not going to see behind it at all, so... It's fine. But that's the counter done. Now you're going to use a little cash register. Like this. But you're probably thinking, disgusting. That looks more like a box to me. But no, we're gonna, we're gonna move, move this bit down a bit. It's more like a triangle. There we go. And, um, gonna, gonna do the same with this bit. We're gonna use make sure you stop cut. Like so. And we're gonna move, move this up here. We're gonna make this look a bit stretchy, to be honest. Looking lovely. Now we're gonna set the inside of this. And we're gonna uh gonna move it in a bit. You choose border. Make it sort of nice and straight looking. Oh that's looking very good squatting. Looks all the way inside. Yeah, you click cap, makes it nice it's all inside for the little, little money tray to go into. 
Yeah, you're making another box. You can't play with your guy. You just gotta make it. I'm gonna set kids faces again so you can start to learn a bit better. Gotta make it fit inside. Just give it a good old shove. Ugh. 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 There we go. Nice and inside now. Yeah, um, yeah, fit right. Yeah, just about. Make it a bit, bit wider. Now we're gonna make it a lander for it as well. Now this bit won't, won't deform, so there's no need really for the for the, the million polygons. But it's still gonna be like two little lenders. Break them apart. We're gonna move it outwards a bit. Just shift and drag and you extrude. Oh. We're going to move this, and we're going to move this. Can you move them both together? And you can just, you can sort of select them both now, and you hit bridge. Oh, that's looking good. And that's the draw, but... But, but it's costing you no way to get inside the door, well. Well. You get like this. You bring it, uh, you extrude it inwards. You bring it down. Then you cap. And that's looking pretty lovely. So when, when the, when Mr. Smiley Spearman comes inside the shop, and te this detected a bit snail rides, he's over here, he's manning the till, he can just um he, he can just open it up and he can take the money. But what's he going to buy? Now in this skip that the captain manned, he says he's gonna buy a bottle of lemonade. So this is how I make bottles. You start off with a sphere. Gotta bring it down a bit. Bit more. That'll do. We're gonna move both bits, the top bit and the bottom bit. And in fact, with this one, we're gonna make it a bit thinner. Thin bottle of lemonade. Bring it down, move it upwards a bit. And you just gotta play it by here. Sometimes I get a picture of a bottle in the background. I just can't do it exactly, but we're just going to do it by here for now. Bring it upwards. Like so. Bring it upwards a tiny bit more. That'll be good. Now just throw it upwards. Now we're going to give it like a little lid as well. So it's a bit like a wine bottle. Move that upwards. Bring it upwards. Like so, and bring it inwards, and we're going to bring it down, so it creates like a little lid thing. Now, similar thing on the bottom, we're just making a wine bottle shape. So we're going to do that, oh, don't want to do that, now do we? And we're just going to bring it sort of inwards a bit. Now, it's all symmetrical, it makes it a lot easier. going to bring it upwards again. There we go, that's a nice lovely battle. Now one thing can also do, get all these edges here. Oh, do it a couple of times, mm, then you hit turbo smooth. And it smooths it all out, make it look all lovely. <sighs> It's a lovely looking bottle. I think it needs a cork to stop all the lemonade spilling out. 
Ja, ich bin Poker. Ja, ja. Ja, Cock's a bit big. So we're gonna have to scale it down a bit. And there we go. A bottle and a cock. So it's gonna be on on this shelf here. On these three shelves. I can probably remove these. No, I can't, not really. Makes it, it just makes big holes in it really. So we're gonna put it right on your shop. Oh, oh, on your, oh, oh, on your thing, this shop sells the lemonade. And there's one bottle left. That's, um, that's about it really. Just need to add, add textures like you did with these ones. Probably text you too as well, give it nice sort of bumpy buttons and things. The magic door still work? I don't know, Scotty, let's find out. Yeah, it does. Still work. So in the next video, I'm going to make it the outside bit for him to sort of come into a bit. I might also have him riding a bicycle down the lane, that would be lovely. <laughs> So, um, we'll see you in the next tutorial where I'll show you how to make a bicycle. I'll see you then.